and welcome back to Gapey's Greenhouse. Wanted to do a end of June update on the sweet peppers here in the greenhouse. This first one here is the Romero. This one has, looks like two pods on it. I haven't harvested any of those. I think they turn yellow, but I'm not positive. Um, but those are the only two peppers that I see. And then behind that we have the Corni di Toro Giallo. That one's got one really huge pepper on it. It's been there for quite a while. I've been waiting for it to turn yellow. This plant is probably almost the tallest and the, probably the second tallest plant, but there's only the one pod on it. It's growing up past the shelf um, right there. And I have some cilantro drying here that it's starting to get into. There is, it looks like one little pod right here that's just starting to come out. But other than that, it's not very productive, it seems. And then we've got the lemon basil here growing in between. And then this one here is the Ajvarsky. Looks like we've got at least four peppers growing on this one. I can't remember which color this one changes to. I haven't harvested any of these, but they should be changing color here pretty soon. And then behind that, I have the chocolate sweet and I have harvested a few of those. It's actually pretty tasty sweet pepper. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be that good um, because it's a chocolate variety and those don't usually taste good. Um, but there's two on there now that are looking ready to harvest. Um, but it's a, it's a short little plant, but it seems to be pretty productive for how short it is. And we've got more basil. And then next to that is the sweet apple. This pepper it looks like it turns chocolate colored before it turns red, but that one's been on there for quite a while and I'm surprised it takes this long to ripen up. But there's a couple more right behind it. So I haven't harvested any of those, so I'm really looking forward to trying that one. And in front of that is my biggest pepper in the greenhouse. This is the Ahi Hobito, and it's just really sprawling out all over the place. You can see there's a branch way up here that this is the the tallest part of it and then it's just kind of sprawling out everywhere. It's coming out into the path of the greenhouse. It's just very productive. But there's no, I haven't had any ripe peppers on it yet. They're supposed to turn yellow. I think these are some of the first ones that that came out. So I hope they turn yellow here pretty soon so I can try them. And then we have a sunflower next to that. And these are supposed to be dwarf sunflowers, but they're getting a little bigger than I'd like. I already pulled two of them out of here, um, but I left two in and I've just kind of been trimming it back. You can see where I chopped it off right there. Okay, let's see. We have some, some Mexican peppers here. This is the hatch pepper. I've harvested a few off of here. There's, there's a bunch more pods on the plant that are ready to harvest. I usually pick them when they're green. Um, but I think they do turn red if you leave them on long enough. And then behind that is Arano. And that's a really short plant. I just harvested four of those yesterday, so there's actually no peppers on there right now. Because I harvested them, roasted them last night, and put them on some, some tamales. And then I skipped one over here. This one is kind of sprawling out too. It's a short plant, but it's kind of growing sideways. This is the Rayano, or no, sorry, the Tasuke. The Tasuke has been pretty productive, despite it being pretty small. I wait till the peppers turn red, and they're actually pretty spicy, um, so those are pretty good. And then, let's see, what else do we have? I think that's it for the peppers on this side of the, the greenhouse. Oh, no, I missed some back here. This is a Jimmy Nardello. And I haven't harvested any off of that one yet. It's kind of hiding back here. But there's one pepper there. It looks like it's starting to turn. It's kind of turning brown. I think it eventually will turn red. Um, but I'm looking forward to that one as well. Okay, I think that's all the peppers in the greenhouse. And next to that we have two eggplants. This one is the Vistala de Gandia. It's so been getting a lot of flowers, but not very many eggplants. I think this is the only one I've seen here. It's really a pretty one. It's very pokey. Lots of spikes on the 
the flowers. And then next to that I have the Cookstown Orange. These are tiny, a little bit smaller than the first one I harvested, but I've harvested a couple of those already. Um, so some of those are looking about ready. And then next to that I have the Cuca Melons. And I've got uh, probably maybe 10 vines growing along this fence here. And I've already harvested quite a few, just kind of snacking on them while I'm in the greenhouse. And that's it for this side of the greenhouse. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys again soon.